Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are loading up and getting ready to head out to the Mid America Trucking Show in Louisville, Kentucky. We got the pull truck 100% done. We're going to go over everything we've done to it. We've got a sweet semi casual plate here. Again, massive plug here. Shout out to the guys at Semi Casual and Fitzgerald Peterbilt for letting us use the shop facilities for uh, dollying up our trucks. Hey. hey <laughs> When are you gonna when are you gonna get this thing off the lift? Right I, now. I got a truck I need to put on here. Oh, you I like that tag, that's nice. You need a truck that makes money? Yeah, yeah, one of those. <laughs> you're holding up, you're holding up money. It's done, I promise. Okay. It's like Good five job. seconds. Alright, so you can have this thing out of here. I mean shocked over here like Look at this. Look at that golden shirt he's got on. Woo! Figured represent maybe just the middle truck of the truck on the <laughs> Oh you were? Yeah, I was trying to, you interrupted me. Oh, well, I'll leave you alone. You go do your thing. <laughs> there he goes. Anyhow, everything's done. We're going to get this thing unload un off the lid before Brian starts charging us by the hour and uh, go over everything we've done. You can already see we have a new light panel here from Trucks Accessories, some new watermelons, and a sweet reverse light that also changes the blue. It doesn't, it's not hooked up yet to blue, but all these are hooked up. So get this rear cover put on here and uh, get this thing back off the lift. All right, there we go. Put my sunglasses on before I look like a crackhead I'm so tired Just let this thing down so what we're gonna do now is we've got to run to Crossville on the tractor taxi we've got a ton of stuff done on it we found a nail in one of the tires and we're pulling them off to get polished so we uh, need to take that thing to Crossville it's about the only place around here to get it fixed because they don't do any tire repairs here yet I don't know if the semi casual is gonna be doing tire repairs they might in the future but not right now so. All right, guys, so here is everything we did. We'll start at the front and work our way back. Um, since we've been up here at Semi Casual and get this thing ready for mats, we've added headlights to this bird. We have added breathers. These are non functional breathers. A lot of people are saying, well, I can't believe he took those cold air intakes off. The turbo breathes air from right underneath the hood. There's no air filter or nothing on it. So these are just here. They look cool. We might stash some stuff in them. Who knows? We've got some trucks led watermelons on here dual revolutions these go from amber to, excuse me amber to blue 12 gauge customs uh breather hidden breather mount bracket things i don't know the exact terminology for them we've got trucks dual revolution two inch red to blue lights back here you've got some trucks breather lights inside there you can't really see we've got 12 gauge customs mirrored mounts some lights um or i'm sorry some mirrors these are just basic mirrors from four state trucks uh, our boxes here are from eBay. <laughs> My buddy Mike had them. Um, we snagged those up off him. Our step plates here are from SH Tube. We've got our sleep, our cab panels here are from Four State Trucks. These are some that they actually make themselves. Our deck plate here we added is from Merit. We painted it black and got that boy put on there. Our other deck plate is from Wilson Fab. We got it painted up. What else have we done on this thing? Um, we've got a ton, and when I say a ton, a metric ton of lights to go on this thing, like another hundred lights probably. Top lights. Um, oh, did you put that there? Nope. Freaking Tommy. <laughs> got him. So I told Tommy we needed a license plate, and we couldn't find it, so we robbed one out of Shock's box, and this one was up here the whole time. Are you kidding me? I didn't see it when I was standing right there. Me neither. What the heck? Oh, boy. We got our rear light box and panel and all that good stuff from trucks also. That's like a whole panel that you can flick a switch and every light on there turns blue also. So every light on this truck, whenever we hit a switch, when they get them all wired up, is going to turn blue. We've got lots of lights underneath the cab panels here that turn blue and they're amber also. We got a truck's visor on here. I know some people don't like it. I'm not... I'm halfway on it. You know, there's, so, there's thousands of different visors. It has nothing to do with the manufacturer. I'm just the design, and I'm not sure if this is one I love, but it's on there, and it looks better than what, I, what we had on there before. And we got trucks, dual revolution, uh, cab lights on there, too. So lots of different things on this boy. It's pretty much clean as it's going to get until we get up to uh, mats. We'll do a final cleaning on it in the parking lot before we pull it in the show on, before we pull it in the booth on Tuesday morning. But for now, let's uh, go to Crossville, get a tire fix, and get the Trader Taxi done.
All right, guys, we made it back to the shop. I've got the inner wheel installed. That tire could have been a bad deal if you think about it. Imagine this thing blowing a freaking tire and wiping out these fenders, which are like two grand a piece painted. And these are the ones that aren't broken compared to the other Jeez. side. So we're getting these things bolted up and we're going to uh, get the hub cover on here. And we've got some step boxes going here and let's show you some of the stuff we didn't film and we'll show you what we've accomplished. Bada boom. All right, so we'll get the hub cover put on here in a second. We took all the wheels off, polished inner and outer of the outer wheels. We hand washed and acid bathed the inside wheels because they were covered in brake dust. We still have to do another wash on this thing again, but we hand washed it. Kind of mediocre, half hours. Um, I realigned the stacks. They weren't, they were out maybe like a degree and a half, two degrees. Now they're perfectly straight up and down. I installed some uh, 12 gauge customs air tank straps. We got rid of those ugly U-bolts that were on there from the factory. Got some straps on there now. We're gonna be doing some uh, step box covers. We've got the round headlights. These are a seven inch round headlight with the uh, eyebrow there or whatever you wanna call it. Some JJ <laughs> <laughs> aluminum, J, J mounts there. All these parts right here came from four state trucks. You guys can check them out in the description below. Uh, we got a sweet swan up here, a chrome swan. The pole truck's got a black swan on there, so it's looking freaking good. And that's pretty much what we got done. We got the interior all cleaned up. We'll do a full thing on that um, once we get it cleaned up and get there to mats. But uh, let's get some stuff done and get this thing out of the shop. Whoa, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeehaw, doggy. <laughs> Today we are in the semi-casual warehouse getting some Peterbilt battery box covers. All right, so I'm not sure if these battery box covers include the plates that have this, the thing on. Oh, we opened it up. You opened it up upside down, right? Oh, oh they do. Oh, yep, yeah, perfect. They got those nice billet steps on them. All right, let's get this thing put in the truck, get back up to shop. It's currently Monday, We're running out of time. Woo, so fast, five mile an hour. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, so we ran it out of gas, <laughs> out of propane. All right, let's go get some work done. Quit goofing off. All right, folks, so we're narrowing down to the end of the freaking night. Um, we are getting the battery box covers ready to get installed. We had to cut the factory hold downs over that hold the battery box cover in place off where these new pieces slide right over. You'll see how they go. But in the process of them sliding right over, we have to make some modifications. And the only issue is these things bolt on. So whenever we have to jump the batteries off or anything like that, we have to unbolt them so that's the only downfall they're more of a show truck only kind of stuff which is what the truck's going to be here in the next month or so when the new one comes in so we got to cut these little tiny huck rivets out of here and uh, relocate the battery switch and then we can get these new covers slid right over it all right folks so what we've got going on now is Ooh, biscuits what okay. just happened <laughs> i'm about to short out this whole freaking truck if i'm not careful and that is the last thing i freaking need put that bolt back in there for a minute i guess Get the heck out of me. Yeah. Than you. Well, that's not going to shock you. It's just not good. Anyhow, we're pulling this battery switch out of here. We're going to relocate it to the bottom of the box. If I can get this 
this thing on it. <clears throat> Dang it. <sighs> Nothing's easy when you're doing custom work. Ooh. Dang, that thing cuts good, boy. <laughs> that thing is scary. Holy crap. Oh, man. That's a serious hole fall right there. All right, we've got our new hole drilled. We're going to plop this boy up from the bottom. Just like that. Plop, plop, plop a room. Know what a lot of you are thinking? You're probably thinking you're mounting this thing underneath the box. It's going to be open to the elements. Well, in order for the truck to be driving down the road, you have to turn this switch like that. When you turn it, it seals itself. See that little O-ring there? Orange. Turn it. See, it seals it. Yep, that orange O-ring. So when it's off, it's open. So turned on, it's sealed. So I'm going to put this boy right back up under there. And we'll run our bolts back through it. It's as simple as that. So, put a bolt in it right there. You get the other side done, that'll be it. She's cherry. All right, so we've got the switch mounted. I've got one set of cables ran. These come off the batteries. The next ones go to the truck. We'll get these boys mounted up, and then we're done. We can slide the box cover over it, and we're done. And we'll get this last one on here, and then we're done. Ooh, doggy. And then we're mats bound, baby. A little walkie dookie. There we have it. All of our battery cable disconnect switch has been relocated. We're gonna, I cut a bunch of zip ties loose, so we're gonna re-zip tie all this up nice and tight. Um, had these rags in here so these batteries didn't arc out or anything. So we turn it on, see if it goes boom. Boom. <laughs> all right, we're good there. No issues so far. Let's get this battery, battery box <laughs> over on here <laughs> and then hook the trailer. We gotta freaking go. It's currently 8 15. It's a three hour and 30 minute drive to Louisville. We still had to load everything up. We've got to pack all of our crap up we've had scattered in the shop, clean up all of our tools. And what time do we gotta be up at? We gotta be putting the pulling truck inside the convention center at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We should get to Louisville unload that's a mouthful unload the pulling truck unload the nissan so we have a way around all right let's figure it out you're good stay right there i'm <laughs> ryan farted so he's having to film from a distance <laughs> it's becoming a thing like people are knowing stinky ryan hey man everybody knows when you eat taco bell there's an aftermath all right, we're getting this side put together. The reason I'm kind of on a roll is because we already put the other side together so I know how it goes. Kind of like the breathers on the pull truck. Yeah. I knew how to do one side so we did the other. All right, I think it's a better option to pull all the protective stuff off now. What do you think? At least the sides. Yeah. All right, well, let's get this stuff off. Get her slid on there. I'm ready to get this thing out of the dang shop. I'm whooped. Oh, oh it never, messed it up. It never that... all comes off, ever. It does when I do it. Bet you couldn't do that again. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. This boy is awkward. Awkward and heavy. Boom. Dude, the reflection off the truck. He's so clean. <laughs> there it is, it's on. We had to loosen the air tank up. I'm pissed. <sighs> Quack. It's on.
Tired? <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> All right, guys, we're somewhere in Kentucky. We're getting close. We got like an hour to go. It is like two o'clock in the morning. But man, this thing is truck stop pimping now with these steps, polished wheels. These headlights are amazing, right? They're not too bright. They're not too dim. And they just look so good. What do you guys think? Comment down there. Let me know what you think about these new headlights. Just the whole truck is just looking so freaking sexy. Uh, I can't wait to get to Matt to unload everything. All right, let's go get some coffee. I'm freaking freezing. And uh, I'm tired. Got another hour and 15 minutes to go. All right, so we're back out here. Got some coffee, got some Subway, pumping some piss in the truck. I guess it'd help if I hit that button. And uh, look at this horse in the front seat. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy. All right, boys and girls, we are out here this morning. It is currently 10.30. I got up around 10 o'clock. My beard's a wreck. I am dumb freaking tired. Got to go. Ryan and I are going to go find the barber shop at some point today. Right now, I'm driving over to get our registration numbers for the show. Man, there are some freaking sexy trucks here. Look at this beast. Look at the Lord. That's freaking cool. Sled puller, too. I mean, there's just so many nice trucks here. It's insane. But over here at registrations, we can get our uh, cards. And uh, we got I got Trav Taxi getting washed. Just kind of getting a rough wash. So we're going to do like a final detail once we get it parked in line. And we've got the tr uh, pulling truck unloaded. we got to get it parked inside here shortly.
model they hired for the show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got off Penny out in the truck. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No, no, it's uh, five dollars to see it and ten dollars not to see it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> got the pulling truck parked inside. We got our Renegade decal put on the hood for the show. Big Rick Barbie's here. Some guys over. I think it's one of a kind customs, right there. Yeah, they've got that. Sweet. We'll be doing some videos on all the cool rides we find in here um, tomorrow because everybody will be pretty much set up tomorrow on Wednesday to start showing and everybody there won't be any big crowds here. So with all that being said, let's go see if we can find some of our friends in here and say hello. All right guys, we got the truck lined up in first show. There's a ton of detailing and polishing going on around here. We've got to run up town and handle a few things. I've got some friends of ours. They're gonna work on giving it a good detail on the outside. We'll be back later tomorrow to do the interior final cleanup and uh it's rags down tomorrow at 12 30 which means all the rags they're in your hands you put down absolutely no touching cleaning polishing of anything and then they start judging around like two or three o'clock between two and six or something like that so hope you guys enjoyed the video our road trip to mats and uh we'll be giving some full videos of all the judging going on when we're getting judged all the cool stuff's gonna be inside the next couple of days and I hope to see you there. Uh, we'll be out here at the truck some, so come find us, get some pictures. Come find us at the Renegade booth. Uh, I'll be looking on our social medias. We'll be posting where we're gonna be at at what time, guys. See y'all later, peace.